Well, that was Ada with I overcame. Tell the sickness. You came in too late. Tell all the problems. Maze, you're so late. You're very late. My father is here. So you got nothing on me. <laughs> Amen. Is it just that as testimony? And the fact that she's celebrating 12 years in marriage. Ada, Maze, we look up to you. We are headed on that direction. God bless you so much. And congratulations. And happy anniversary to you. Anyway, today being Father's Day, we're just celebrating our fathers. So inspiration by Bialeo Maze, just keep up. <laughs> that's what, the, uh, that's an advice I can just say, Maze, keep up. Because today is such a special day. I, I was searching for the perfect message to share on this day. But you know what, the Lord told me, just go speak about the perfect father. Because so many of us, we think God in, in a very different way. But Leo, today I'm here to change your perception. You know, I love who there's, so many instances we celebrate our mothers, we forget our fathers, our Mother's Day is, is usually so hyped, yeah? We think uh, the mother's role is important, but that's not the case, you know? Uh, it's not a matter of which role is more important. Is it father's, your father's role in, or the mother's role being important in a family? As in Kunawe, there's a, God has designed all these roles, both roles, both the mother's role and the father's role to serve and complement each other. How do they complement each other? When the mother comes, akona role yake, when gave you, God gave you a, a father, akona role yake, in that family, they both have role, ro each roles, they complement each other. For instance, even, uh, look at father, you look at the mother. And remember these, these, these roles, both the mother and the father, they serve the nature of God. <laughs> look at the mother, your mother, your mother's role. He plays that intimacy. When Apata, he cares so much for you. Your mother is so emotional to an extent he cares. There's intimacy, there's a way he she nurtures you because that's the way they were created. That's the role of the mother in your, fam in your life. Look at the father, you know, but uh, you know, the father, you know, but you know, when the child is now growing up, growing up, leaving the nest of the mother. They look up to their father. Uh, they look up to the father for decision making, for role models. To Mr. To Mr. Mafale comments, they saying their father is a role model to their lives. You know, when they begin growing up, you know, at a baby, zile decision my dad is making. Me umuangalia hivi, hmm, this is a good decision. So in future, there's a way I will even take that route because I, re I was really impressed by the decision there, the decision he made, you know. So there's no, there's no, I love the, the instances where our father, I mean, to heart, our father has let us down, but there's no perfect father. There is no perfect father except who? Except our God, our heavenly father. That is the perfect father. Because here on earth, our earthly fathers are not perfect. They do make mistakes. They do let us down. They do, they do forget about us. They do abandon us. So there's a way, as human being, we are created in a way that, uh, it, to an extent, we compare our earthly fathers to our heavenly father. You think like, God, uh, my earthly father abandoned me, or uh, my heavenly father will also abandon me. No, 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 that is not the case. So we need to appreciate, uh, we need to appreciate more our fathers, our, eth our, eth uh, our earthly fathers, honor them, show them love, show them respect, obey them. You know, we re you remember on Mother's Day, we talked about Ephesians chapter six, verse one to three, where you honor your father because it's the right thing to do, obey your mother and father, because it's the right thing to do in the Lord, you know? So, you cannot, you cannot compare our, our earthly father to our heavenly father, you know, because God, God is always concerned about us because you think God is not concerned about your life, you know, because your earthly father was never, never concerned about you. But you think God is not concerned about you. God is not, God is this person. When you you so you fear him so much, you know, something that God has a long list of their, <laughs> of their wrongdoings. When you have let you our dog, our father will beat us up because to be closer. So you think our heavenly father is, you go to pale, anangojia tu fanye mistake hivi, whoo, akutape. But that is not the case, you know. I'd love for you think because our earthly father did not provide for our needs and you think God will not provide for our needs. That's not the case. That's not the case. I'm here to change that perception because God really cares about you, you know. That is not the case. God, you know, when Jesus came, he came so that we begin to see God in a new way. 
in a very new way. He's not that judgmental person. He's not that person you fear. He's not that person who doesn't care about you, who is just ready, ready to punish you for things you've done. You look at even the, the story of the prodigal son. He's a good example of a good father, a father who gave who gave uh, his child all in his inheritance, Akenda Kai Skwanda Uko, then he came back. This father was just anticipating and eagerly waiting for his son. You know, when his son came, he went, ran after him, embraced him, and told you, my son, come here. You were once dead, but you are now alive. That is our heavenly father, our perfect father. You know, even when, when the disciples were asking Jesus, Jesus, how do you pray? How did, God, how did Jesus begin praying? Our father. Yeah, that key, that, those three words, our Father, not our judge, our Father who art in heaven. And that is God. That is our Father. Our, the God is our Father, you know. Our Heavenly Father cares for us. He is proud of us, very proud in whatever you're doing. He's really proud in whatever you're doing. Uh, there's someone that cheers you on, you know. When you're in that rest, and this life is like a rest, you know. He's always cheering us on. Mm -hmm. He lifts us when we fall. Even when you just fall and God is always there, ready to fall. And I've given you example those times I fell and I gave up. God was there to pick me up and he's picking you up even right now. Yeah. So God is not a dis is not distant. distant. Your earthly father is distant in your life. God is not distant. God is near wherever you are. He's not. <laughs> he's unapproachable. God is very approachable. It's very approachable. Just wherever you are, just talk to him right now. Whatever language, whatever way you know, speak to him because our God is very approachable, our Father. And he's not mad at us or what things you've done. Once you've asked for forgiveness, he forgets it. Kabisa, that is our Heavenly Father. He doesn't remember them anymore. Because you've asked for forgiveness, you've repented, as long as you don't repeat it anymore. Okay? And God, above every other thing, God is madly, 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 madly in love with you. He loves you beyond every other thing. So your heavenly father is madly in love with you. So thank you so much. I will just leave it at that, that God is madly in love with you because he's our perfect father. He will never fail us. He will never leave us. He will not... <laughs> There's so many things, but what I can just summarize. If, if you forget everything, please remember that God is madly in love with you. I'm Ajay Dijenix.